Hello, so what I'm going to try and do in this video is show you the difference between a cheap digital night vision unit that you can get for about 30 to 50 pounds now on Amazon or eBay or AliExpress or anywhere like that compared to the ADNV G14 P2. Now, this comparison I've tried to make as fair as possible by basically doing the same sort of scenes. Now, the only issue with this is that basically the cheap digital night vision I've got, I think it's about a 4x zoom or a 3 point something x zoom. So it's always going to be zoomed in a bit. Uh, the ADNV will also always be in black and white. But what I've done is the outputs from both videos, because they're slightly different resolutions, I've both re-rendered into the same resolution. So how you'll see it in the video means that, you know, you should see them roughly the same, but most importantly the same frame rate because I think the cheap night vision is about 30 FPS, where the ADNV is 100, so the ADNV will be lowered to about 25 FPS along with the cheap night vision. Now, what you should be able to see with the cheap night vision here is it does actually have colour, but um, it basically it will go very dark very quickly as soon as I flick the light off, because it you know doesn't have much light amplification, which is the main thing with the cheap digital night vision. Um, Focusing as well is based on, uh, with both of them, the objective lens being sort of focused. The cheap night vision is very good at seeing colours on things like LEDs like that, that you can see. So it's a bit better than, say, the human eye, but not by much. But as you can see here, you can't really see anything. Um, and you also get a very shaky effect with cheap night vision because of the refresh rates and everything like that. So now onto the ADNV, which is actually interesting. So here we are, same room and it's dark. Uh, you can see that. And obviously everything is visible quite clear. I focused it for roughly the sort of few meters distances. So stuff before that is obviously a bit blurry. Um, and being digital night vision, I don't have to worry with the ADNV about like burning it out using a bright green laser pointer like that. So when you see it go very fuzzy, that's when it's completely um, amplifying you know, visible light, not using any sort of IR or anything. That's a visible green laser, not an IR laser there. But... Um, you can adjust the sharpness settings in the option for the ADNV as well, but I like it quite sharp, which means it looks more grainy, but the lines are quite defined. So there you can see in this room, the main important thing to notice is sort of how quickly it can switch, I think, between the sort of visible light of the laser lighting up the room, and then sort of quickly going back to, um, you know, just light amplification every time I flick it on and off. So, but yeah, you can basically see everything in the room where it's amplifying the laser, Notice there's barely any latency on the laser moving around. And again, it instantly goes to the grainy sort of footage when I shut the laser off, which is the visible light being amplified. But yeah, obviously, the ADNV is really, really impressive compared to um, most digital night vision units I've ever looked at. And again, about Gen 3 light amplification.